Alright, hi, this is Savvy Sauce, and this is part three of my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I almost said Majora's Mask. Uh, just beat the first dungeon, which was actually just a giant tree. And now Mido is upset. Would you believe it? I was told by the Great Deacon Tree to go visit Princess Zelda at Hyrule Castle, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Ordinarily, well, not ordinarily. Until you beat the Deku Tree, you can't leave the forest. There's this another annoying person guarding the exit the way Mido guards the way to the Great Deku Tree. But, well, he's out of the way now. See? Also, there's another cool dri another cool glitch I'd like to try and show off. It's called the Infinite Sword Glitch. And I just fucked up, so we're gonna... Go do it some other time. Oh great, more cutscenes. Just what we all wanted. Time for some preteen drama. My favorite kind. Listen, Saria, we didn't even get to second base together. We don't need to be so dramatic. Everyone's been saying Link's so different. Aren't you eager to find out what this mystery is? What sets him apart? Ew, gross. Did your mouth touch it? <laughs> Link is blown away by this ocarina. He cannot take his eyes off it. You received the ocarina. Alright, that's cool. <sighs> I mean, I guess it is pretty neat. It's sparkling. It's not something you see every day. Alright, don't make any sudden moves, Link. What I want you to do is back away very slowly so you don't spook her. Attaboy, Link. Nice and slow. Oh, goddammit. Now she's gonna run away. Alright, there's just one more annoying segment and we can start playing for real. Well, there's two more, but only one more in this part of the Let's Play. Uh, beautiful Hyrule Field. Looks like somebody's been forgetting to water it, but it's beautiful nonetheless. On the right is a pea hat, the most annoying enemy ever. Mainly because you can't kill it. All it does is chase you around and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, it's like playing Amnesia. Fuck that. Alright, we're gonna get talked at by this annoying owl. It's gonna give me all sorts of really insightful advice. I don't know if you can tell, but my voice was dripping with sarcasm when I said that, because his advice is even more worthless than Navi's. If you know so much, why don't you kill Ganondorf yourself? Why don't you stab him with one of your three-foot-long eyebrows? The worst part about him, though, is that the default answer is to get him to repeat himself. Infuriating. Alright, later. So... I have to get to the castle, which is at the top of the map, before nightfall, because at nightfall the drawbridge goes up. And as I said before, you go faster when you're walking backwards, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, I don't know why it is the way it is, but it is. Oh yeah, commentary. Uh, I'm walking backwards right now. I'm still walking backwards. The reason you want to get to the castle before nightfall is because once the drawbridge goes up, you have to spend the night outside. And at night, all these annoying skeletons start popping up out of the ground and they start slapping at you. It's very frustrating. Here we are, the lovely castle town. Look at these graphics, it looks real! It's like I could touch it! Alright, this girl's important. I'm gonna talk to her now. Hey, your clothes! They're different! This is the little farm girl, Malin. And she has something I need. Something I need very much. But she only gives it to you at night. So I'm gonna go over here. 
since night only passes in certain areas of this game. And it's almost night already, since I timed everything pretty well. I'll let this owl talk to me again, since it's gonna happen eventually. <laughs> like, as soon as he was done talking to me in Hyrule Field, he must have flown here instantly, just so he could talk to me a little bit more. I read a pretty cool fan theory that this owl is actually one of the sages. Sages will become important later in the game. I'll be sure to touch upon that theory. Alright, once the wolf cries... Maybe I missed it, whatever. I'm just gonna assume it's nighttime now. Either way, Malin shouldn't be in the town anymore. Yeah, she's gone. She apparently teleported over here and has begun to sing. What up, girl? I wish she wouldn't call me fairy boy, but whatever. Teehee! <laughs> yeah, shut up. And that thing I needed from her was actually this extremely shiny egg. Sorry, this weird egg. I don't know what's weird about it. Maybe there's a chicken inside or something. How odd. Whatever. So... Sometimes I have a lot of trouble climbing up that vine, but it looks like I got lucky this time. So this is sort of a... infiltration mission. You have to get into the castle without all these annoying guards catching you. Shouldn't be a problem here, but once you get to the courtyard, things become a little trickier. You have to go... you have to take this really long route to get there, since there's guards all along the way. You have to come to this rocky wall and climb it. Fortunately, that egg that Malin just gave me will likely hatch once day breaks. I wonder what's inside! Some money. Everyone knows people throw money into the moat of castles. Find out right here. Yes, day is almost here. This is annoying sleeping guy here. Pretty sure he's based on Mario. Yeah, he looks kinda like Mario. Anyway, the egg turns into a chicken. Would you believe it? I wouldn't. I think that's crazy. And what do chickens do? But wake up farmers! What in tarnation? What a normal place to sleep. Talon and Malin. Talon, Malin, and Ingo. They run the farm in the middle of Hyrule Field. Great real estate. Premium location. Uh, there'll be more on them later. That's right, you better run. So I need to get into the castle. Unfortunately, that drawbridge is up. But there's this nice little hole here. Hopefully I don't drown when going through it. But to get to it, I need to move these boxes. Should be fun. I love moving huge boxes. Like, wow, I actually hadn't realized how big this box was. It's like four or five feet tall. Or more. Probably six feet tall. God damn. How did that guy even bring these boxes here? Whatever. Questions are sometimes not meant to be answered. Let's see, how are we doing on time? We're doing great. Where are we? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even remember. Let's say we're doing great, though. That sounds a lot better than saying we're doing horribly. Everyone hold your breath! <gasps> So, this is another segment where you have to sneak by the guards. I'm not good at it. I'm probably gonna get caught. I wouldn't be surprised at all if I did. Yeah, I'm not... I don't normally go this way. I don't know why I put myself in this position. Uh, should I sneak by him? I'll wait. Patience, it's a virtue. Alright. 
I guess I'll just climb this. Don't mind my yelling. God damn it, that was retarded. Uh, Alright, no matter. We'll just do it again. Everybody likes repeating themselves, right? It's definitely not going to stress anyone out. It's definitely not going to make me go crazy. Er. Alright, take two. Let's do it. Fortunately, the royal family only employs short-sighted guards. Alright, except for that one, who's got hawk vision. Third time's the charm, right? 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 Something about the definition of insanity being doing the same thing over and over again, but not repeating yourself. Falsely attributed to Einstein. I'm sure Einstein did the same thing over and over again all the time. Alright. More yelling, that's the trick. <sighs> Sorry, I haven't been talking because I've been concentrating. Caught. Damn it. Oh, alright. Never mind. Everything worked out. <laughs> I don't think they have a very good patrol strategy here. Yo, let's just stay really close to each other. Whatever. Alright. <sighs> we are almost at Princess Zelda. The titular character. First, I'm just gonna like show a few easter eggs. If you look in here you'll see some Nintendo characters. You might recognize Mario. You might not if you've been living under a rock your whole life. And over here if you shoot this window this guy throws a bomb at you because that's totally an appropriate response to somebody shooting your window. Uh, Alright, I think I'm gonna cut this segment off here because Zelda cannot stop talking once she starts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.